Well, if you're not here with us last week, we were talking about how Ghanaian fashion can be distinguished, and that is what we are still talking about today on Slayers. We have Nanata Maklo, who is the CEO of Accra Fashion Week, here with us, and High Life Musician, also the brand ambassador for Made in Ghana, Ochiame Kwame, also here with us. Mr. Wear Ghana, who is also here with us. <laughs> It was very interesting, exciting last weekend. We're still continuing with the conversation. All right, Mr. Wegana, do you think Ghanaians prefer imported textiles than um, to the locally manufactured ones? No, the question is how would they be able to even identify whether this one is imported and okay. this one is locally made in Ghana. Okay. Now, because of the, the influx of the Chinese goods, which is a replica of what we have originally here, mm. unlike the Holland and then the Blue Schools, which takes inspiration from our African um, perspective. That is why we even inculcating uh, it to be part of um, African fabrics. Mm. Aside from those, those have an identity, and we know where they are coming, coming from. from. Aside from that, there is no identity with respect to it. We know what we produce here because even the local textile manufacturing companies themselves do the promos. Okay. okay. And we know what their products are. But the question is this. How would you know if you go to the market mm. and you are purchasing um, uh, fabric, fabric that this is made in Ghana and this is imported? And even the one imported, you see the fake one. How will you identify both. So I think that the introduction of the tax stamp is timely and it can help Ghanaians, you know, effect that um, decision to now say I'm going in for what is truly made in Ghana and then the one which the fake one. Okay. So the decision now is because you and I, when there is fake here and original here, there is no way you'll be able to identify. So I think that it's important that this thing, the tax stamp, need to be, you know, introduced very fast so that it can help the tester manufacturing companies to grow and to their identity also to, to be more visible. Okay. Yeah. I think that will help. Ochame Kwame, your take on that? Um, as if we as prefer, a, I mean, the international, the imported ones to the locally manufactured ones. I think now, um, they, even I don't know. Okay. Mm. Even I, you don't know. I don't know whether it is imported or not. Right? Okay. And sometimes when I go to my designer, I say, please, when you go, make sure that you got one from the Kumasi people, okay. or you got one from the, you know, Takradi people. Mm. But it is very difficult to tell. So just as he's saying, the tax stamp will, will be will able help. to. But even that one, a person, yes, you do or pam wom rea, won't mean they are going to imitate that one mm. to and put it mm. and put it in okay you know so i think that education is key like i was saying the uh, civic you know and culture should should to tell us what the differences are and then if it is possible the ministry of trade can find ways of giving um these companies tax rebates so that they can have a marketing budget that will help us know the signals and feel the texture the look and feel of it and i also um think that the education shouldn't also only be uh, through the media they must organize seminars and bring fashion designers and seamstresses and tailors and bring them together to to have a, a conversation on the fact that um the whole concept of trade between them is is built on dependency we depend mm -hmm. on you to to sell us and you depend on us, us to make okay. therefore please understand our problems and make sure that we can grow together so i believe that it must begin with a dialogue okay it must begin with a dialogue and with that dialogue we are going to have resolutions and with the, the resolutions must be communicated to the everyday man because i know that in the next three years this whole made in ghana thing will be at a different level mm -hmm. because people people we can't wait I, i'm telling you people who really they didn't want to hear Ghanaian music or watch Ghanaian movies or wear kente or all of it's them Ghanaian or most food. of them are wearing it now. Mm -hmm. 
Look at this young man. I tell you, 15 years ago, there's no way a young man with these muscles would want to wear this. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yes, he'll be wearing a, a fubu or mm -hmm. fake Gucci, mm -hmm. Cal fake Canai, Gucci, yes. Chris Cross, you know, <laughs> all that. But the, all that is, is yeah. it is slowly coming down. Okay. It's very, very, very slowly coming down. And once we are able to get past the, the, the whole idea of it is expensive, I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. Once we are able to get past it, once people get more jobs, once entrepreneurship comes up. So we need to also look at it from a holistic perspective. It's not, excuse me, it's not only by made in Ghana, but also it is let the scientists also invent. Let the doctors be more professional. Mm -hmm. Let the entrepreneurs learn how to buy and sell. Let, you know, let creatives work. Let people, so everybody else must come up right. mentally. Right. You know, everybody else must come up, must, everybody else must have that, that idea of let us move into the next space for Ghana. Okay. And once we are there, I think the, the economy will rise too. Okay. I'd like to find out the moment we are having now in Ghana, but let's go for a quick break and come. Ghana's biggest furniture manufacturing place. With over four decades of manufacturing furniture, we are your best place for handling all your furniture projects. You're still watching Slayers and we are talking about the identity of Ghanaian fashion. Don't forget Nalem Ayede. Nalem Ayede, this Easter, so go to Nalem store, get up to 60% discounts on all items. Nalem is in West Hills Mall, Accra Mall, ANC Mall, Usu Mall, um, Airport Seminar 2 and 3. So, Achame Kwame, what moment are we having now? Right now, I think we are, we are at introduction period. Okay. So I, I group it into four. So there's introduction, there's growth. Mm. And then there's plateau and decline. Okay. So I think we are at introduction. Cry. More people are getting to, to understand. More artists. I saw EL with a, a photo with Bella Mundi last week on Instagram in his, in his trousers. print trousers. Yes. Yeah, Regina Velvet. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's the one. Yes. That's, uh, you, have to, you have to show it. Mm. I mean, when I saw it, something touched me. Oh. I'm like, EL is a hip-hop artist. Artists. He's yeah. all urban. Mm. Yeah. And... He is wearing prints. Yeah. And the level of young Dada back kids yeah. that's like EL, mm. that is going to send like a deep signal yeah. okay. down there for all of them to wear, yeah. wear prints. And, and let me touch on that because in 2012, we, with Fashion Ghana, we mm -hmm. used to interview all these artists and we caught them backstage at Ghana Rocks. Okay. And we interviewed EL and we were questioning him why he won't wear African, African clothes and he was like because it's not my style most of the stuff they make doesn't fit me mm -hmm. so to see that in 2019 oh, mm. yeah to to, oh, to, to to see him wearing it in 2019 you know but I think me I, I come from a I, I look at things from a business perspective I, I I know what it means to try and get all these policies and all these things to make us you know embrace it but the day-to-day -day people when it comes to fabrics, they're not looking at which one is this, which one is that. They are just saying which one is more cost effective. Most of the times, one they, once they've sold it, a lot of our creatives, they are not concerned about the durability. They just want to make something beautiful and let people buy it. So the people 
that we have in Ghana as well that are making the fabrics, they too need to take themselves from a business perspective. Yes, we know that China is coming. It's like when a designer comes out, mm -hmm. don't come in thinking, okay, I'm going to compete with a brand here. I'm going to compete with Christy Brown. You have to come in and think I'm competing with um, Gucci, Gucci. Gucci. Uh, because that's who, Zara. The, and it's the same with the fabrics. When we look at Vlisco, um, people will be like, oh, um, we buy from China because China is cheap. But Vlisco too is selling, and Vlisco mm -hmm. is not cheap. Mm -hmm. But guess what Vlisco does? They do fashion shows, they do billboards, yes. they do, which Ghana Fabric campaign is doing this? And when we talk about um, GTP and Daviva, most of them are not even Ghanaian. The Ghanaian, I mean, they, are, they might be in Ghana, mm -hmm. but they are not owned by, by Ghanaians. Ghanaian, okay. And most of the Ghanaian ones are silent. So we have a situation where in Ghana, yes, we want the government to help, but we also have to be competitive. We have to wake up and say, look, at the end of the day, this person is coming to do this advert. Mm -hmm. This person is coming to do this. These people, you have foreign companies that are selling clothes to Jackie Appiah for her to wear. Yeah, yeah. And then we don't even see one designer sending anything to Shatawali. You know, it's like we have our sort of let someone come and fix it for us. When there are a lot of loopholes that we don't sort of execute. But, but why would I send um, my design to Shatawali when I've been looking at him or I've looked through his profile and all I see is, I mean, he wearing foreign clothes, suits made outside and all those kind of things. Because, mm -hmm. And they suit him and he enjoys that. Mm -hmm. Because he is the one who thousands and hundreds and thousands of young people are following. Okay. And so if you are a designer and you say, the person who hundreds of thousands of people admire, I cannot do something for him to like, then you're not, you not aspiring to be a fashion designer. You have to be the person to say, I'm going to be the person who is going to make EL wear my trousers, even though he never wears African wear. Okay. I'm going to be the one who is going to make Shatawale say, wow. Because Shatawale even launched his own uh, rain, his rain rain. clothes, yes. which means he's prepared to wear it. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, sure. a disease. You know, he's ready to wear it. So okay. I think you know, we, we need to stop saying, oh, come save me. Come mm -hmm. Take yourself as a business. Take okay. yourself as a competitor. Okay. Look for the people who have you know, strong following. You know? But do you think Ghanaian fashion is losing its credibility with the influence of foreign clothes? Um, I mean, foreign clothes oh, is something that we've always embraced there before they started rising. Okay. So basically, it's like they're climbing up to get themselves, you know, in the market. Okay. And then foreigners are also seeing, oh, look at all this technology, look at all this influence. Mm -hmm. Let's step up our game, let's go and set up a shop in the mall and that sort of stuff. And this is why I say the designers need to, I mean, it's all good to look at things from what we want, but then there's a practical aspect of things. They need to understand that these are their competitors. Mm -hmm. um, we look at a situation like uh, Dashiki, which the, the Angelina print, mm -hmm. which caught fire um, maybe 2015, 2016. You know, that's because we saw Beyonce in it. We saw Chris Brown in it. Why aren't our designers saying, let's take on some of these celebrities? Because we know that our own Ghanaian people are aspiring to these foreigners. So it's like, yes, they will lose some credibility, but they need to understand that. Let's work, let, 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 let's, let's, let's play chess with mm -hmm. the foreigners. Don't just sit down there and be like, oh, they are foreigners, they've got money. Maybe there are certain things that money can do for them, but then there are certain things that strategy and creativity can do for you. And that's how the designers need to see it. So I think um, you have certain designers that are pulling these tactics, like um, Christy Brown had um, some, some of Beyonce's dancers in her clothes. If Chi had... Um, Chocolate. Um, Chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate also, yeah. You know, and uh, if Yasechi had um, Janet Jackson, okay. you know, so some of them are doing it. But technically, we cannot all, we have, because look, Government can, we can wait for government, fine, but until the government starts, what are you going to do to level yourself on the playing field? Because it, that, that's, that's, the, that's the, the name of the game. You have mm. to step up. Ben. Hmm? <laughs> for me, any time I'm talking about this, it's a bit some way because, you know, <laughs> <laughs> look, um, let, me, let me, a fashion designer can do a costume like this mm -hmm. 
and then sell it like 50 cities. Mm -hmm. Another person would do the same thing like this mm -hmm. and sell it like 100 cities. Mm -hmm. The question is this, what was the accessories he used to design the same thing? Mm -hmm. Even the bottom alone, we have five cities, we have 10 cities, we have 20 cities. Even the material the person used, we have the fake one, the fake one which yes. can get it cheap, cheap. And we have the one that you can get the original. It's expensive. So it is reality. You can have the same thing. Mm -hmm. So that's why people will say, that, ah, but I saw this thing here, and this is the value. And I saw this, there, but the ingredients, what went into it. Now, the influx of, you're talking about the influx of the foreign stuff, whether it's affecting. It really, it has already affected, affected. that <laughs> killed our industry. Okay. We are now reviving. We want the people to understand that, hey, we are not saying that, don't wear this, but this is our identity. This is, we as Ghanaians, when you wear it, the government is going to make money out of it based on tasks. Now, the designers are also going to make money of it, which will make a living, mm -hmm. and they can employ more people, people. to help them yeah. design in, uh, the masses. Now, how many shops do we have that contain purely African print? That is, how many of our designers? It is expensive. If you go to Accra Mall, you know how much it takes for you to even rent a store. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at even our normal land. If you want to put up any structure, even the amount of money they will take you. How many of our designers are resourced to have those things? That's why the, the initiative of the mass lock and the other things, they have to focus, focus on this thing. That's, that's it. Look, the mass lock, there is money there for all these people. Now, why can they access, have access to it? And the agua, why, what is the sensitization by the government by telling or identifying this and telling the uh, designers that, hey, and the agua, these are the conditions if you meet, we're able to export your product. You are making them what grow with respect to whatever they are doing. So even if they go and take loan, I know if I pick a loan, I can sell to this standard. Agua can export it to US, I can make my money and vice versa. We are growing business. So basically when you're talking about the involvement of government, mm -hmm. they are not saying directly come and pop money and go and sleep. Definitely through Maslock and other financial institutions, anytime they give you money, there is something that you have to also put it there as a guarantee. So if you also misuse the money, they will come, they will, they will come for you. Mm -hmm. So you also make sure that you get returns out of what you're doing. That's why we want the government to come in. Now, you talk about um, the, the individual designer like Marcos and all that. Trust me, where they are coming from, like the U.S. and the likes, the government supports them. Don't let us have no doubt. The government support. The government is ready to support because they know the returns that they make out of them. And talk about the second hand clothes. Do you know the revenue the second hand clothes gives to US? You have no idea. And then the other thing is the uh, the fast fast fashion. Mm. You know about fast yeah, fashion. Yeah, I know about fast fashion. They are using Africa as a dumping site because yes. almost every time they are coming out with new clothes. And the average American home. We have over 50 tons of, then they bring you know, in the waste, waste one here. there. Then they, they, they send it down but, here. Yeah. And, you know, the, 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 the chemicals that they use in producing this, those, they are, mm. they are not environmentally, you know, um, let me say, friendly. You know, by, because of the faster, because they need to produce things at a faster rate. So they need to introduce artificial things to it. So this, all this thing comes here and they affect our environment. Mm -hmm. And now look at, so look, the, the effect of this secondhand goods and the likes, the chain is, is very wide, mm -hmm. you know, and we need to make government understand that, hey, we knew or we know that policies, all those things I'll be waiting to you is sitting on your desk. But okay. do you really understand what it really is? Let us focus this unemployment rate thing which is growing. I believe the fashion industry can even take 60% off from modeling, from makeups, from fashion designers. Even doing a fashion show, you, you, you read set up people, you have musicians, mm -hmm. you are light. You, look, there is a lot. So let the government focus on this. And um, I don't really want to touch this, but when it comes to Made in Ghana promotion, do the government really have the heart to do it? Or is it by word of mouth? It is something that maybe I will delve into and find out what is happening, whether there isn't money 
place down there to help champion the cause. But the way you see important. the governments wearing made in Ghana all the time. You can actually put uh, Google Nanado, President Nanado, and you will see that he is mostly in print. And I, I realized that um, also your mama used to do the same. He used to wear. So, yes, there. Who's all our president? Yes. J.J. Rollins, former J.J. Rollins, was promoted the FUBU. Exactly. The FUBU. Yeah. So, I think that, so I think that beyond that, he said something very profound last week that I think we should look at. He said that all government agencies mm -hmm. and the ministries, all of them must buy from the Made in Ghana textile producers. And I think that's a beginning. What I don't, I, I didn't quite get with me that policy. Policy will take three, four years. However, if the CEO of Ghana Tourist Authority, Mr. Ajima, says, hey, we are only buying from Made in Ghana producers for this year, end of year, all the, uh, all the 1,000 workers of Ghana um, Tourist Authority, you are all there, period. If, exactly, if the CEO of, of uh, Ghana Commercial Bank says, we are only buying from, or if Nanado one day becomes benevolent and then he says, you know what, guys, can we secretly only buy from our guys? Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that beyond, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've been around for a while. I know that politicians are slow in West Africa, mm -hmm. you know, so I do not really want to put the responsibility at their feet because they have other things to think about. They must win election and, <laughs> and all those things, you know, so I really think that we can even start it at the CEO level okay. where we can say that everybody, let us buy from our, our producers. And I think that will change the narrative. Mm. That will now come into business. Mm -hmm. And then now they will have be empowered to print more and, and hire more. And then we will, then the, we will get to wear what they are printing. Okay, but Achamekwa, as you being a celebrity, do you think our celebrities and the fashion industry is helping promote made in Ghana? Because, yeah. like we rightly said earlier, there are people that we look up to. Yes. This, uh, they are the trendsetters. Yeah. Ben, like you said, they are the trendsetters. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So they, are they also helping? To promote made in Ghana? Yes. I, I, think, I think that yes. You think yes? I think that yes. Yeah. I mean, let's just close our eyes and look at 10 videos. Mm. Let's, let, me, let me just come into music. Mm. Let's look at the Kogenji. Okay. He's more Afrocentric. He's always been Afrocentric. He's always were, were made in Ghana. He, you know, let us look at somebody like EO. Mm. You see that even in his days when um, he was airborne, mm. he still did a video like Hele Hallelujah. Mm. If you watch the video, you see horses. You see national pride. You know, our video directors and celebrities have been trying. But we can all do more. Even I can do more. Mm. I can do better. And for the ones that are urbanized because of capitalism, mm. because they think that when they look like a European or a Jamaican or an American, mm. it will be easier for their constituency, for their target, their market share okay. to identify with them. Okay. Yes, uh, that is also business because it is business has two main motives to mm. either make an impact or make profit or make both. You know, so it depends on the business owner's orientation and goal. So we cannot sort of force everybody to make an impact. Mm. However, the ones who have decided to make the impact, we need to pamper them. We need to praise them. We need to make a conscious effort to position them high okay. so that they will become the benchmark. Okay, but Mr. Wey Ghana disagree. <laughs> he thinks our celebrities uh, are not helping enough. They are seriously not helping. Seriously not helping. I can handpick some of them, mm -hmm. which I can confidently say Mr. Chairman Kwame is doing amazing well when it comes to that. And some couple of people that is in a flash, they just flash <laughs> the pump and that's it. Look, we have to be serious. Look, um, Mr. Chairman Kwame talked about identity, trying to identify themselves with the, with the uh, international market. Look, identity, what makes you unique? You cannot dress more than Lewin up there you cannot dress more than jay-z you understand what make why is it that we are lies and the man's bears and all, and the lines they are easily accepted into the foreign land. it's because they have an identity it's because they promote what they have as Ghanaian mm -hmm. and that is what makes it different from other people because all of them they see these dresses that you you give you, you, you wear a showcase on the runway and all that you can do it better than the Nikes and the likes okay. but if you do something with African print mm -hmm. and all that they will say hey, 
what is this? Where is it coming from? Now, do you know what it will be? It will be fashion tourism destination in Ghana. And that is what we Ghana man want to achieve. Okay? <laughs> so that is why we want Ghana in the month of March. Let's celebrate like the way we do Farmers Day, Teachers mm -hmm. Day and the like. Mm -hmm. There isn't anything of a mm -hmm. sort for people in the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. How will they be addressed? Mm -hmm. How will government see the needs of mm -hmm. them? That is why the We Ghana Month mm -hmm. is there to champion, to okay. celebrate them and to do more of advocacy, okay. to do seminar sensitization okay. for Ghana fashion industry okay. players. For government to see the need as to why they should support Ghana fashion. All right, so our time is about you. Um, tell us more about because We Ghana Month is just yeah. Around the so we are it's still it's it's, so. it's we're gonna project. Mm -hmm. It is a campaign round throughout the whole year, mm -hmm. and the climax is in March. Okay. So, like I said, it is the same thing. Like we're celebrating fashion industry mm -hmm. players. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of activities. Mm -hmm. There's seminars. Okay. There's fashion shows, okay. and we are awarding. It's Ghana Fashion Industry Harness Slash Awards. Mm. The, the harness is for people who appreciate our clothes culture or promote Ghanaian clothes. We have to honor them and make, tell them that hey. But this are the champion we win. <laughs> yes, it was. And, 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 tell, and tell them that, and tell them that, hey, Ghana appreciates you. Ghana appreciates whatever you're doing. So keep on doing it. And we have the award side where that one is too competitive among the fashion industry players because this is about where Ghana and it's about Ghana. So our, the, our definition of the award is seriously skewing to what we project Ghana and to make those individuals who are promoting. And this time we have another category we have from, from now video promoters. Mm -hmm. Now I'm seeing a lot and it's amazing the kind of music, music video shoot that is coming out of late. Mm -hmm. the, we have the KT1 from the Tina mm -hmm. and then Chami Kwame has also released wow. a new one. It's amazing when you see our, our clothes culture fused with what we eat and the, the, the lifestyle we're living. Oh, I think Ghanian. Fuse, Fuse ODG did well. We didn't talk about him. Uh, he's been doing well. Uh, no, yeah, no, he's, no, he's you, actually you, doing well. Uh, it's true. You, you see, Since he started. Been well. He's see? been projecting um, Ghana, uh, I mean, of, everywhere. Of course, because yeah. one, because he has followers. And whatever he does, hmm. he has a lot of people to respond to it. Now, the, the, what he did at um, Trade, Trade Fair, Fair. It was amazing. amazing yes. So we have some uh, is it Kente Hub and yeah. all that set up and and trust me, it, it was a selling point. And you know, because of where it is based, mm -hmm. it's able to influence a lot of people down right. here and they are able to adapt to whatever we are and they feel important. Now, because of this slavery thing, they they blast out they now understand why they should now visit where they are coming from. They should identify themselves from where they are coming. So you saw quite recently this actor who was installed as uh, the king of, is it a gun, couchment area or something? Is it Samini? Um, no, there was this foreign actor from the US. Yeah, from from the US. US. Yeah, 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 who came. He's, a, he's an action, yeah. John White, yeah. okay, Michael. you know, say it again. It's uh, Michael J. White. Yes, okay. yes, you see, it is something so that mention it. Michael J. White, yeah, right? Like. Like uh, this uh, American that came okay, here, Michael J. White. Mm -hmm. It was so amazing. If you look at the positive way of expressing his feelings, mm -hmm. even being installed as a, a, a sub chief or whatsoever here with the Kente and all that, it tells you that Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. We are losing sight of <laughs> we, are, we, we are losing sight of basic things that will help Ghana elevate itself from poverty, and we are looking elsewhere. Okay. So the likes like Ochami Kwami, which me I'm happy to see him here because we've not had that verbal uh, uh, interaction before. Although he might be seeing my works and a couple of things, but. Now, Ministry of Trade to us and doors, and also um, brand ambassadors for Made in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So it means that we have to work hand in hand mm -hmm. to push this project. And me being with Mr. Wei Ghana, and he being Mr. Chami Kwame, Made in Ghana, mm -hmm. which is just a subset of, of Made in Ghana. So I'm just a subset of Made in Ghana. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> it means that when we put our forces together, we can make things work in Ghana. We will make, and we it, will it, make and it happen. It, 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 it will make it work in Ghana. And a presenter like you, I'm always pleading with you to always showcase what we have at Ghanaian. Let it be, you know, let it be attractive because a lot of people are looking at you. All right. right. So that is the advice I can give you as a presenter. Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you, Mr. Wea Ghana. But tell me, what should we expect from you this year? Es oh, Everything a lot. A lot. Ghana. So, uh, mm -hmm. made in Ghana. So, expect mm -hmm. I've released just one video of the 10 videos I'm going to release over the year. Each one of the videos will showcase some traditional, you know, cultural elements of all the regions. Okay. So, um, just as you know, um, we. I've only released one video from the Made in Ghana album okay. and we are going to release the next eight or nine um, before the year ends okay. and each one of the videos will take some cultural element of the regions and bring it together so by the end of the year especially to Ghanaian children growing up outside Ghana, Ghana when they watch these videos on YouTube they will know how to snap their fingers how to get up when an elderly person is coming they will understand what is Ghanaian you know so that is one another thing that we have um, a documentary coming up on TV on um, on a TV station from from this month, it's called okay. the Sight and Smiles of Ghana. Okay. So I am going through the whole nation, capturing the food, the people, the nightlife. It's beautiful. The the festivals, it is beautiful. So expect that also on my YouTube channel, Ochame Kwame. And then apart from that, we are going to the schools. We are doing OK Inspire. We are going to the universities. We are going to the primary schools. We are going to all the schools to talk to people about self about self-love i have so many things that we are doing we are doing um made in ghana quizzes on my on my channels mm -hmm. on facebook and twitter and instagram so every week we do one question um, about made in ghana the whole idea is to show that africans we've had history we've had religion we've had so it's a lot of things that we are doing but to the the designers and the people making made in ghana um cloth please 2019 is the year of return i know that more than 20,000 people are coming, or is it 2,000? 20,000 people are coming from America alone, mm -hmm. people in the diaspora, yeah. to come and visit and see how beautiful this place is. Okay. Let's clean the gutters. Let us make more beautiful clothes. Mm. Let us prepare our tour guides. Let mm. us, people who live uh, at the beaches, let us clean the beaches and let's get ourselves ready to have uh, this interface with the whole world and be ambassadors for the nation thank okay. you all right. after the show i'll introduce you to akusia she's a traveling uh, a travel con um, influencer okay so maybe you guys can work hand in hand yes she's yes, here yes, yes, yes. all right so nana what's up um well Af we've Accra got fashion week yes we've got and Accra fashion words. week um last year was the first time we held two different fashion weeks we we sort of divided um the fashion seasons. We've got the chilly rainy and we've got the summer hamatan. Um, as we've seen most times, not to emulate the West, but they've got their spring summer, then they've got their autumn winter, and it helps them with the sort of business of the production cycle. Um, I think what we're trying to do now and the stage we're at at Accra Fashion Week is we've moved beyond the let's show talent and then hope people support it. We're now trying to say let's get into the boutique because every time we have these conversations, we look at the manufacturers and then we look at the uh, clients, but we forget that in Osu alone, we've got probably over over 60 boutiques because in our area, Jolu, there, there are about 60 boutiques. Mm. So here must be much more. Okay. And when someone wants to buy something, the first thing they're thinking of is, let me go and see what's in the store. And then when they go in the store, they have all the foreign brands. If you went in the store, most times when people want to buy clothes, they're not going in saying, I want to buy a black jeans with a logo on it. They're going in saying, I want something to wear for the next week. And they go and look around. So if our boutiques actually start patronizing our, our goods, we're going to see a lot of change because it will be fast to get the African fashion. But the problem is we're not seeing that. And the problem as well is production. You know, in fact, when he was speaking of the shirt and someone will sell it for 100 CDs and someone will sell it for fa uh, 50 CDs, I think he was more focused on production. Mm. But you can go to um, George Armani's site and see a jacket for 3,000 pounds. And I will bet you anything that jacket is not made for more than 100 pounds or $100, because they're making it very cheap in China. So most of that money that they get, it's not just pocketed. That's what goes into the marketing. That's what goes into the paying whiskey to wear it. That's what goes into the recross wearing it. So a lot of times, we forget the aspects of the branding, the marketing, that side of things. So we are trying to connect our designers so they understand that they're not just creatives. They are brands. Okay. People don't buy clothes these days. People buy brands Honestly. because when they walk around, they can say, hey, this is a Versace top. Okay. Um, so now we're trying to connect everything with the boutiques. We're trying to get a list. So if there, there's anyone who owns a boutique that wants to get into um, hosting um, properly quality 
Ghanaian fashion, you can get in touch with us. And within it, we've also got the Fashion Ghana Honours and Awards, which we started last year. Mm -hmm. And um, this year, we're, we're doing it again. There are certain people we want to honour within it, people who have really <laughs> been supporting, you know, because if we do not honour people for what they're, they're doing, doing yeah everyone can just say, what's the point? Yes. So we need to take that action from the photographers, the models, the industry people, the people who have um, influence, and, and then, you know, just make it. So that's what we're doing with Accra okay. Fashion so Weekend. So all this is happening in March? All of this is happening in March from 28th to the 31st okay. of March. All right. Thank you guys so Alisa much. Hotel. Alisa Hotel. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been, it's been educative. It's been exciting and very informative. Nanata Maklo, we are glad to have you. Ochame Kwame, thank you so much for coming. Mr. Wagana, thank you so much for coming. I think we should do this another time because there's, there's a lot more yeah. to talk about in the industry. And thanks to Afel by Ifriye for my um, lovely outfits. My makeup is by Confidential Makeup and my hair is by Celebrity Ghana Hair installed by Wiglet Slayer. Thanks to Kira Leaving for this set of um for the lovely deco fan at ghana for the sets of furniture we on facebook slayers tv instagram twitter slayers tv gh on youtube slayers tv ghana and don't forget nalem i the promo is also still going on we'll be sharing some vouchers so just go on our social media platform and be a part of whatever activities that will be happening there and we yourself i mean a voucher go to nalem store get yourself anything for this easter thank you so much for watching the show have a good night I'm not afraid of